What's up guys, this is Biden Apple here, and today I have a little bit of a special thing for you guys. Today I am going to go over how Google Glass works. Now I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen what Google Glass is, and uh, well, uh, if you guys don't know what Google Glass is, it's basically Google's no longer secret project for 2013, for the end of 2013. Basically it's a wearable computer. Uh, and something that uh, should go like up to the top right of the of your glasses. Uh, actually, it's supposed to be glasses. And for the guys who uh, who have prescription lenses, I'm sorry, uh, we'll need to get a special Google Glass for them. But basically, the principle is very simple. All it bases on is a little prism. If you guys don't know what a prism is, um, just think about the um, Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd, and you know you'll know what a prism is. Basically, it's something that it's a uh, glass piece that um, diffracts light and diffracts it in all the various colors the light is actually made of, creating that really cool rainbow thing that the um, Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd, uh, got back. Well, this is basically a prism right here that I'm holding in my hand, and this is basically what you see with your Google glasses. Now, the projector, a uh, little, you know, those Pico projectors, mini projectors that came out a few years ago, project an image through this side, through this hole, and they project it right onto your retina. Now, the challenges of this isn't really how to get it because it's pretty simple, really. All you need is a little screen. Let me show you by taking my iPod Touch. And as you can see right there, you can see what I see in, in the iPod Touch right there. But... One challenge is how to get it to focus. As you can see right here, I'm changing my focus, and now I have my focus on the iPod Touch, and now I'm focusing the background. Now I'm focusing the iPod Touch again, and now I'm focusing the background. So there is one challenge here, which is trying to get the focus, the Google Glass, and the background at the same time. Now, how do they do this? Basically, the the prism that they give you, like the prism that is on the Google Glass, isn't black here. Isn't black as you can see right here. This is black and it's not going through. And it isn't um, it isn't opaque like this, but it is transparent. And basically, what it does is it mixes normal light um, that goes through here, through through basically everywhere in the prism, and it mixes with the projector light. So it seems like as if, if it was on the same um, projection filler, like on the same, um, I don't know how to call it, on the same uh, place on the spot. Like it seems like this is on focus and the background is on focus, but really this is closer to you but this and this is distant. And basically it was actually pretty simple, but the concept is actually pretty cool. Now let me show you, they also use a uh, magnifying lens. So I'm gonna show you with the magnifying lens how it changes. And yeah, so basically it kind of unfocuses it more, but as you can see, it actually is a little bit more in focus. And if I keep a little bit of mid, as you can see right there, it's the iPad's on focus and the background is pretty much on focus, as you can see right there. You can see my finger right and you can see the iPad touch right. So that is basically how the Google Glass works. And well, we're hoping to actually see it by the end of 2013. And well, this is Bite an Apple, and thanks for watching.